I might be doing fine, but my glasses are... Not another pair. <laughs> do you have shares in the company that makes them or something? I think I should do. Because <laughs> quite frankly, I don't know what this one's doing. But... Entering the next life, I suspect. <laughs> Please, we're talking serious toast here. Okay, so what's going on today? Well, uh, we're into test mode. So happy. So um, we've just wired up a um, plug um, and we've got, um, you know, the wires out. And then what we're using is just these little bullet um, ones because they are perfect for going into my crocodile clips. So once I've got my crocodile clips on, I'll just be able to, using high tech here, 9 volt battery, so I'll be able to just sort of like connect that to my 9 volt battery. Um, so on this side we'll put the 9 volt battery and then on the other side we've got our um, AVO and um, we, you know Beverly will say something like um, blue and yellow, blue and, you know, which is the earth, because it's obviously yellow-green. Um, she'll say that to me, and I will tell her, you know, what's the polarity, because um, I'll be able to uh, look at this and um, say that it's positive on the blue, for instance, and negative on the yellow, as an example. So, do, so does that ramble translate as we're testing the AC circuit using a 9-volt battery? Basically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, we're and we're doing that because it's safer than testing it with 240 volts. Yeah, you know, you've got to test everything. We haven't connected it up yet, um, but we're testing our circuits first. And then hopefully we'll be connecting it up later today. I am so looking forward to getting rid of the cables that are running through the boat because it's just trip hazards and things like that. And I'm just not that happy on things like that. I've interrupted Gainer. Uh, she's she's done the things and the, the clips are on, and I've got the um, got the AVO in testing mode so I can detect short circuits. And the reason I've interrupted her is I'm just going to test that we have wired the plug correctly and that we have no shorts inside the plug, and we do not appear to have shorts inside the plug. So that's looking good. The reason I'm doing this is because they launched the Hubble Space Telescope. And it should have been perfect and it was rubbish because they never tested the testing tool. I've just tested our testing tool. We you haven't have... quite because you haven't done the earth pin to say I've done the th earth wire. You know, because obviously... Oh, yeah, so you want me to actually check them through on the individual copper pins too? Yes. So that's uh, neutral, which would be this one. If I've got it right. Of course, it could be that whoever put the um, finger me's on Okay, looks like we're back to the drawing board here. The earth works. <laughs> well, that's a good start. But we don't want just the earth working. We want all of it working. We do, don't we? This is the brown, so it's the live, which is on this side. Oh, that's sounding a bit dead, that, doesn't it? Yeah, so we're going to have to go and have a look, see what's wrong. So what was wrong, Beth? Okay, so... <laughs> 
much to my surprise it was worth testing the test tool. Um, two things were wrong. Um, firstly the fuse was gone, so we've put a new fuse in, that solved that issue. But my other one was, I was testing the wrong pins. My problem is that every time I take a fuse apart and look down on it, the neutral is on this side. So when I turned it upside down, I was testing this one as the neutral, but it's not because it's on this side. If I turn it round, it's now on this side. So my mind map was the wrong way up for the pin. So I had in my head this was neutral and this was live, and of course it's the other way around. Which reality. is of course why um, the new the la the um, Earth one worked because yeah. in your mind map that was the same, wasn't it? Yeah, it doesn't move. It's in the middle at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Right, but we have now retested them and they're, they're fine. So if I bung this onto the, um, I bung that on, whoops, I'll use this one. So if I push that onto the, um, onto the live and go down to the live. Yay! Works. It works fine now. Well, we've just tested um, all the circuits and we're glad to report that they all work. So uh, we now have some confidence to uh, actually um, turn the mains off um, because we now need to actually wire it up to the mains. Oh, I am so excited. Today is the day where we finally get rid of this cables running through the boat. Um, however, we have had a, um, a little thought that we didn't think of before because um, at the moment we have the heater running um, on this uh, circuit while we have the toaster um, on the other side with the kettle um, with the new configuration we'll actually have the toaster and the kettle on this side so we were just going through the amps and how much all the amps take um, we've looked at the specification of the Bavaria wire, that is 16 amps, which uh, matches with the breaker at 16 amps. And we have the toaster and the kettle and all that sort of stuff on while we have the fan on. So we've never uh, tripped the uh, cable once. So, you know, we should be fine as far as... Um, what you're saying here is that the, the boat... <sighs> All, all our mains electrical devices mustn't draw more than 16 amps simultaneously because we've never thrown the trip. That's right. So I feel quite confident from that point of view. Um, however, <laughs> because we are just sort of like thinking and, and, and all that sort of stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to move the fan heater, which is only really for the cold and for the wet and everything. We're going to move the fan heater onto the other European socket just so that the cable that's underneath the um, under here the Bavaria cable doesn't have too much of a load because we've we've gone way over the top on the loads um, you know like our wiring is way over the top I bought a um, bus bath to do the connections and I've got 30 amps <laughs> got 30 amps for that one so and our, our cable is 25 amps our cable is 25 amps so again i've gone way over the top because i don't want an electrical fire <laughs> no but the weak point will be the bridge from our cabling system to the bavaria system yeah because basically the on the wire under here is 16 amps so that'll be the um the breaking point um whereas it then goes into a 30 amp block and then it goes from there to our wiring, which is 25 amps. So this side will be absolutely fine, but it's always the, the, the lowest capacity on the, on the current, which is the issue. But like I say, it is married to a 16 amp breaker. And we've never tripped the cable before. So. Our breaker's 16, our galvanic isolator trips at 16, and the marine pontoon trips at 16. Yeah, so you've got loads and loads of 16 breakers, so the wire that's underneath my feet should be fine. I'm sure the viewers do not want to see me wiring a uh, socket. 
Why not? This is exciting boat stuff. <laughs> well, if it's exciting boat stuff, when you've got thick insulation like this, just gently score the outside of the insulation. And, Listen, you're the, one um, with the, you're the one with the electrical training. I'm just putting your expertise out there. Yeah, well, anyway, just score the outside of the insulation and then bend the cable so that the um, when you're pulling it, when you're actually taking the insulation off, you don't actually um, cut the inside insulation. God, I can tell you used to be a teacher. It's one of... Oh, God, how many jobs did I do before I did this? <laughs> one of the 99... 99 jobs. 999,999. Yeah, because I've done... Um, I was an electrical and electronic engineer, uh, that's what my degree's in. Um, then I did um, science teaching, uh, I taught science, so um, I've got that. Whoops. Um, that was a bit close. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I've got um, programming, I've also done programming. Um, I've been a company secretary, I've um I've been an odd job man. I've been a freelancer. Um, now you're a full-time sailor. Well, I don't know if I'm a full-time sailor. Well, you live on a boat 24-7. That's pretty no, cool. No, I'm not a full-time sailor, but I am a full-time uh, liverboard. Um, but I'm still earning money from um, freelancing. That's what I'm earning my money from. Because I'm still not there on the... Uh, <laughs> getting money from the videos, but... We actually received some money off Google the other day. No, we didn't. No, we oh, didn't. Oh. No, we might have done. They might have put 10 pence into our account. I've got oh. to check. Okay, well, that's something best going to check. But we are talking like 10 pence. <laughs> We've got one step forward. Yay. <laughs> Don't knock it. <laughs> well, our little box, which is IP55, uh, has all been uh, wired up. Although, um, once you've actually put the um, cables in, um, you know, obviously there are holes all of a sudden in the uh, box, but never mind. But, um, so we've got the, the little box that's all wired up. And now it's for the big one. We've actually got to turn the electrics off and wire it up. We haven't put the AC circuit on yet, um, but we're all wired down here and we were just doing our final tests. So our final tests was um, putting um, our little adapter into um, the circuit here and we were just testing it all out. And what we found was that um, we had it, the, you know, backwards. And it was like, oh my God, you know, we've got it all the way, all wrong. When you say we had it backwards. Well, basically, um, say for instance, I'd put the negative of the um, battery on um, the neutral. Let's call it the blue wire. The blue wire, the neutral wire. And the positive of the um, battery onto um, the live wire. The brown one. The brown one. We were getting uh, the reverse polarity on um, the tester over there. And I, we were going like, oh my God, have we wired it wrong? But we've pulled this out as much as we can. And we've used our little inspection mirror. That little beep, by the way, is um, <coughs> the um, unit going off, the um, tester. tester. We've used the inspection mirror as much as we can, and we've actually realised it's this socket. Just because of uh, the way we are, um, they've got the neutral um, closest to the bulkhead, whereas um, UK you know, plugs UK plugs would have the live closest to the bulkhead. So it's actually this socket. So I don't know whether we're going to redo but, the socket. So, so how did so how when, <coughs> what did we do next to check this? Uh, we've got other sockets um, in the system. Um, for instance, we've got one in the bathroom. We hardly we never use it because we it's don't. in the bathroom and we don't have a an electrical shaver. Some people might, I suppose, guys. <laughs> but uh, you know, we have got one in there. And um, that one's fine. That that one's wired. 
the way it is. And the one under the sink. Uh, yeah, the one it, under the sink. This it's also was, wired correctly. That was wired correctly so that the socket was the way that you'd put the adapter in. The thing is, with the uh, European uh, little adapters, you can put them in either way. But it would mean that our plug, if we were using it, it would mean that our plug is going, you know, that way up. And that, just for UK, <laughs> that just for the UK just feels wrong. Right. Okay, so we passed AC test number one. <laughs> yes. Our AC test number one was? Uh, basically we turned uh, it off on at the breaker on the pontoon and um, we've also turned it on at the breaker in the boat and nothing has blown up! Nothing tripped? <laughs> nothing tripped. Alright, so why are you laughing? <laughs> well, I'm going in for test number two. <laughs> I've got my rubber gloves on just in case. So why are you wearing rubber gloves? And I, I'll, I'll take the blame for it. I insisted you put them on because... Well, basically, um, I'm going to be uh, measuring um, under here uh, the AC, uh, sorry, the AC voltages. Um, and if there is any issues, then um, I've got the rubber. And I'll be standing by. I'll be standing by the breaker. And you'll be standing by the breaker to test that. So it's just like, and then we'll be putting on the loads and things like that. So it's just, we're being over cautious. But do you know what? I'd rather be over cautious than uh, a bit gung ho and have an accident. Well, we've no deadlines here. No, we don't. I mean, so you know, as long as the video goes out, we'll be fine. Well, it's getting dark now. So dark. We'll... It's pitch black. I know. <laughs> so what are we on now, Bev? Now we're on yet another test. So we have tested the breaker and it doesn't trip. We've tested the wiring down under there and it all seems to be right. We've installed everything in the IP55 box, put it all up. And now what we're going to test is the actual sockets themselves. I mean, we've tested everything to death. I mean, God almighty, there shouldn't be anything. So what we've got, I've got an old got an old battery charger for rechargeable batteries. If this goes ping and flies out across the boat in, in an arc of flame, I'm not too worried about it. Um, so I'm going to put it in there and I'll just turn that light off. A red LED should come on here. So here goes. Uh, I have to tell you now, it's brown trouser time. Can you see that okay in the camera? Well, I'm hoping so, but at the moment it's just black. Oh, right, okay. Let's give it a go. I can see a red light! Oh my god! <laughs> oh There's geez. A red light here. Yeah, I can see it. I don't know uh, if it's still visible or not, but there it, it is. It is, yeah, but... And the other one we plugged in is just this old extension block. Which will hopefully be no, not needed anymore. So, yeah, but it's got a very faint LED in it, so if I turn it off... Oh, just about. should I be can, able to see yeah, that I can LED see. just yeah. there. Yeah, so now it's on to the big tests. Big test, there's more. Yeah, we've actually got to use it in anger now. Now for the acid test. Hey, it's boiling. Oh, dears. That might be for a cup of tea, but I have to tell you now, I think Bev and I are going to have some a drink tonight. Yeah, well, I've just, um, just got my hand on the outside insulation of the Bavaria wiring and it's not warm. Right. So this isn't being overloaded. Good. Because I don't want that. <laughs> 